Two for 20. <laughs> oh, I choose this one right here. Okay, this is just for fun. Because you uh, have a sense of humor, this one I can make 25. You can make 20. I know Mzungu. <laughs> Can't do 20 on this one. No. <laughs> 370. Yeah. Like, don't send it back, you? If you ask me how much I give you, I'm going to tell you like 20 euros. <laughs> Welcome back guys. Today we're out here in Athens, Greece, Mykonos, Greece, Crete, Greece, Santorini, Greece. And I got something super special for you guys today as not only are we hitting up the markets here in Athens, but no joke, we're gonna hit like three to five different cities slash islands all throughout Greece, just because I think Greece is a place where it all needs to be seen. But I'm gonna keep this short. We're just gonna go, go, go. Hello. Hello. Oh, you need a permit? I guess I wasn't supposed to film up there. Anyways, got the shot. Now let's turn this around for real and let's go. Pretty good. Shopping for some souvenirs. <laughs> yeah. Can I see inside? Yeah. Okay. How much is something like like this? This is one person from Rome. This is the price. Of course, we can make something 17 better. euro. Yeah. Can you make something better, like 17 euro for this one? This one. This, <laughs> this one. one? Uh, no. No. <laughs> not that good. No, not that good. You not said a better good. price though. Well, better, not no price. <laughs> yeah. How much for the small one then? Fifty. Five zero, so you go up in price. No, <laughs> oh, teen. Okay. What's for like ten euro? Do you have something like this for like ten euro? Let me see. And that's a hundred percent bronze, you said. Yes, I may have something, but not in bronze. In plastic. Okay, in plastic. Oh. Oh, so that's like two euros then, right? Hello. Oh, yeah. I see. Oh, that's a six euro one. You can't do like ten for that ba one with the base back there. Ten. Ten euro. Yeah. Oh, it's no. Off. That's almost 50% off. Almost. You're good at math. No? <laughs> no? no, trust me. Okay. What's the I cheapest? The cheapest thing. For the bronze one, yeah. Yes, this is 12. I can make it for 10, hmm. but without the marble. With marble, the 70 is the lowest. Yeah. You can do 12 for this one? I think I can <laughs> Do you have like a little list right there that shows you all the prices? Well, yeah, you, you need it. Yeah, it's like a cheat sheet, right? Uh -huh. Can I take a look at your cheat sheet? 14 is the lower that I can go. 14? Yes, 14 is the lower that I can go. Okay, I believe you. I'll take it for 14. Okay. That's kind of uh -huh. cool, yes. actually. Um, you can choose. Oh, yeah. Oh, I choose this one right here. Okay, this is not for 14. <laughs> <laughs> but you can choose it. Okay, yeah, I'll choose that one. That one's okay. Well, you know Milwaukee? Yeah, okay. The basketball, Giannis? Yeah, okay, I'm from Milwaukee, yeah. Oh. You from Athens? That's cool. Do you own this shop? I wish. Yeah? No. <laughs> oh, that's why you need the cheat sheet, right? I will. <laughs> Great. Well, thank, thank you. you. So much. All right. Have a good day. You too. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how about you? I'm pretty good. Oh, you got bracelets too. What kind of brand is this? A Greek company. A Greek company? Yes. What, what Greek yeah, company? I do kind of like this right here. Yeah, it's the symbol of eternity. This is a symbol of eternity. Yes, it means a circle of life. The black on black is cool, yeah. How much you say these are? 25. 25. Ooh, it might be a little bit more. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, no, that works. Yeah, I'm looking to maybe spend, because it's a gift. So okay. I'm looking to spend maybe like 15 euros. Maybe these ones. Maybe yeah. 15. Can't do 15 for this one? I really like that one. <laughs> No. What's the best price you can do for that one? So this one's 22. 22? You can't do 20? You have cash. I do have cash. All right. Okay. You got the Uzo too. Oh, yeah. You like Uzo? I do. Actually, I'll get two of these. Um, yeah, probably the gold one. Oh, sorry for the coins? <laughs> not, not a problem. Is this your shop or you just no, work here? Work. You just work here? Okay. Awesome. No? I appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. All right, we're out here. It looks like it's popping off. This is the main little circle area. We have little spots over here, spot over here. So we're gonna go up and down all these and uh, we're gonna see what we can get. <laughs> it looks like there's a lot of stuff here, so let's go. Oh, 
Oh, you got the Bucks jersey. I'm from Milwaukee. Ah, I come from Milwaukee. I come from Milwaukee, so I have to get the Giannis jersey. I have Giannis <laughs> jersey, I have Giannis also in Los Angeles. Oh, cool. Yeah, how much do you charge for 25 these? 35 euros. 35 euros 20, 20. only. 25 euros yeah. only. Okay. How much for the Bucks one? 28, I think. 28? How much for two of them? Pay cash? Yeah, pay cash, yeah. For you, huh? For me, yeah. Uh, calculator, mm -hmm. classic. 47 euros. 47 euros yes. for two of them? How about this? I got 100 euros. How many jerseys are you gonna give me for 100 euros? Can you do like six jerseys for 100 euros? Uh, they're gifts for uh, their, no, they're no. gifts for my friends, you know? You can't do six for 100? Oh, no, no. I need like six. No, no. Because it is 100 divided by six? Ah, uh, yeah. No way. The it's 16. Oh, you can't do that, hey? No, no, no. That's much less than it cost to me. Oh, okay. Not this. Yeah, I'll like... I'll make it 22. Yeah. And this, I'll make 25. You do 40 for both? No, no. No? Okay. I, I cut that. I compromise to make 45 to be 45. 45? What about... No. I can't do less. <laughs> you can't do no, less. No, that's just, okay. Uh, so you said 40, how much? 45. You do five jerseys for 100 euros? Look, cost for us, 18 yeah. euros. Yeah. I have to take some profit here yeah. from the rest. I don't, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> I cannot sell it by 10 yeah. euros. I have a t-shirt if you go in Jersey. Yeah, let's go a look. Football jersey. It's less expensive, you get some. Okay, let's go look. Come here. Yeah. You can take Europe jerseys from 8 euro each. For 8 euro each? Yeah. You see what you like. I like that one. What's your favorite team? Real Madrid is my favorite. Okay, it's so your favorite, I'll get it. Yeah. Where do these uh, come from? This is Greece. I mean, uh, made yeah, where are they made? Thailand. Thailand. Oh, Thailand. Okay, cool. All of these made in Thailand. All right, what's the total? 53 total. Like uh, 45 and 8. How much to print your name in Greek now? 3 euro extra. 3 euro extra. Yeah. What, is that just like on a t-shirt or something? Yeah, any design you can see around. Yeah. You can choose on the t-shirt. You can have your name in Greek okay. on the back. Okay. How no. long does it take? It's almost 3-4 uh, minutes. 3-4 three, minutes? Yes. Oh, let me take a look around. Have a look to see. I like this right here. What does this say? Let's say here. The only thing that I know is that I just know anything. Ooh, that's good. I like that. I want that. Can you hear the name, your name? Is there like a character limit or? No, right in uh, uppercase, me, I will do. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Hopefully you can read my writing. Calling? Yeah. Or Yeah. What do you like? What do you mean? One word. You really Only mean. one word? Yes, yes. We'll do, we'll do a broadcast. A broadcast. Yeah. It looks nice, yeah, okay. cool, yeah. Can I see how it's made? Yes. Okay, cool, thank you. I put first, write your name. And now, Abroka. Oh, yeah, look at that. That looks cool. Okay. Nice, all right. Thank you, sir. 67 euros for that. Here's 60, here's that. Thank you, back to you. Great. One pen, this Thanks. is for you. One you great pen. That. Got that pen. That's what I really wanted. Great. Thank you, Thank sir. Thank you, Abraka. All right, have a good day. I feel like profit margins here are kind of stingy because I've walked away multiple times with like my last price. They just let you go. Typically people don't do that if they're not making money. That's the best strategy really to walk away. But also you have to engage because if you just go up and say, I want it for this price and then walk away, like they're just going to let you walk. So, but if you get engaged with them first, chat with them a little bit, then they're more likely to give you that discount if you walk away. But it doesn't really seem to be happening here, but we're not stopping yet. We're going to continue doing this and uh, we're going to see what else we can get. Hello. Can I see this shirt right here? I have all, all sizes, yes. You have all size? Can I see it? For you. For me, yeah. Yes, I can. Okay. Just a moment, I print one, one minute. Well, how much is it? 15 euros, the best price. 15 euros? 15, yes. Oh, and you got to print it though? Oh, I thought it was like a legit one. You print all these? Yes. Oh, okay. 15 is a little too... the first price, 15 with the best price. Yeah, 15 is the best price, yeah. Maybe a little more than I wanted to spend. Do you have any shirts for like 10 euros? 10, uh, no. No, you don't have 10 euro shirts? 13, 13. 13? 13, I give you 13. Uh, I can only do 10. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good, yeah? Okay. For the anti-social. You guys got some cool shirts up in here. 10 no, sorry. No 10 now? No, no. Okay, 10, all right. 10, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> I'm, I'm good, thank you. All right, looks like they went back on their price. They were gonna take the 10 euro, but I guess not. Also, I've noticed everything here is like print on demand. All shirts that I've seen so far have been created here in Greece. So it's not like they even import them. They just Greece. take the, 
Grease, hell yeah. They just take the logos and they print them themselves. Quality of the shirts are all right though. And see, I also have a rule. It's like, if I already say a price, it's hard to go back on that price. But yeah. Oh, what's up, bro? I'm good. Where are you from? Idaho. From Cameroon. You're from Cameroon? Yeah. We are from Africa. Cool. Cameroon, Nigeria, Senegal, Congo, Gambia, Ghana. Tonight, at December Square Monastery, we are making live drums. Okay, cool. Appreciate it, bro. Keep this, bro. What's this? Matata. It means no worries, okay? I know Hakuna Matata. You know Matata? Yeah. No, I was I was in Kenya and uh, Tanzania. You have been to Kenya? Yeah, yeah. Nairobi. Nairobi, Mombasa. I went to Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Speak Nairobi, Swahili? Uh, I know Mzungu. <laughs> 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 People call me Mazungu, uh, so. I, I give you. This is a gift, bro? The Ross is kind of cool, but I don't believe it's a gift, though. No, no, I give you, bro. You we give me? It, yeah, whenever we have music. And then you ask for some money. Good. Yeah. Whatever from your heart. Okay, I got you, bro. Kuna Matata, bro. Lion Kate, please, no worries. Anything is good, brother. You have five, ten, your brother. Yeah, all right, one second. I gotta see how much I got. You guys stand out here all day? Yeah, I got you, bro. Thank you so much. Hakuna Matata, bro. I live here now. We are refugees here. You know, to find job here is really difficult. So we make this to keep ourselves busy. At least find food. Yeah. Instead of going in the street doing jobs, yeah. I think to go to jail. The same yeah. This one is better. How long do you work like per day? Yeah. Yeah. We work like four hours, three hours. So what's your name, bro? My name is Taz. Taz. Yeah, cool name. Respect. Nice. Cheers, Thank bro. You so much. All right. So would you cop this for 20 euros? But that's also a thing, though. Is like uh, the people from Africa they usually stand right over there. Like you said, they're refugees and uh. And they give you this gift and they say it's a gift, but then they're like, all right, donation. But just be aware, it's kind of roping you in a little bit. So if you don't want to pay for anything, don't let them put it on you. But for now, I'm going to take this off and we're going to get back into this. So let's go. Hey, hello. Is this your store? You got an awesome hat store. I want some hats. You're the hat guy. Is this your stuff over here? Oh, you got like the good stuff in here. I like the Under Armour. How much for this? Oh, that's a 15er, hey? How much for a big one of the Fial Ravens? Yeah. Oh, these are the 35s. How much is that one? That's a 12 euro. What's your best price for like this one? That's your best price. Oh, it's all fixed price. Oh, you got the Gucci hat too. 10 euro. 10 euro for the Gucci hat. You can do 5 euro for that? No. <laughs> There's no negotiations here. Yeah, I don't know. I've gotten them for cheaper before, so I. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> the blank ones for 5 euro. Okay. Okay. Thank you. How much did you say? 10 and 12. 10 and 12. I want this one right here. I'll give you 20 for this one. For this one right here. That's a 35, yeah. Okay, thank you. That was kind of weird. They kept calling me back, but they weren't willing to negotiate. I was like, all right, if you're not going to negotiate, I'm not, I'm going to go. And they're like, well, come back. And then it's like, all right, come back. It's like, they're not going to negotiate. So I don't know. But look at, we got this cool antiques market. Look at this place. Huh? Very nice videos. Yeah. Oh, you've seen them? Yeah, all yeah. of them. All, all of them, yeah? <laughs> awesome. So you guys run the shop then, hey? Yes. That's nice. Well, nice to meet you guys. Nice What's your name? You. My name is Gustavino. Awesome. Nice. Do you find any shop here with fake? There was a guy right around the corner. He had some stuff. Yeah, There's really not too much fake hats, stuff. Yeah, the hats and the bags. Yeah. Otherwise, they got some jerseys, like basketball jerseys and whatnot. Yeah. If you want to fight many replicas, yeah. go to other place here in uh, Gavarvara. Yeah. Where Santa is that? Barbara. Let me Show you on your okay. This I buy it from a Yavarvara. Okay. How much is this that? Is too. Like uh, 20 euro. Okay. All right. Cool. You can buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You okay. Are good. You are good. At All this. right. There are many shops there with the uh, Yeezys. You're gonna make very good video there. Okay. Cool. This, this is shop. all the place with the clothes. Oh, nice. All right. VIP. VIP. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'll screenshot all this so this I don't. Is gypsy boys. Who are they? Gypsy. Egyptian. Gypsy Egyptian. Gypsy. Gypsy. Oh, gypsy. Yes. Oh, okay. Good guys, not, uh, okay. All right, these guys, they saved the day. They're sending me to the spot, the best spot in town yes, to get yes, stuff, yes, yes. to get right. stuff like this and this right here. Awesome. So, all right, appreciate it, guys. <laughs> See ya. All right, so that worked out because this was the only market I could find online that was notable throughout Athens. So, we're going to go check this out and see if it's good as they say because they're making it, they're hyping it up a little bit. So, we're going to hop on the subway and we're going to see what's there. Let's go.
didn't tell me exactly where to go. They just said it was this subway stop. So they kind of pinned it on the map, but it, they just pinned the subway stop. So I'm assuming somewhere around here. Hopefully you can find it. Looks like some shops are up here. Okay, I see like a shoe shop over there. Hi, do you have Yeezy? Yeah. yeah. I like the white ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, these are good. How much are those? 30? Hmm. How much are like these Adidas right here? The black with the white? Those are 16? Yes. You can't do like 20 on the Yeezys? 20? For the Yeezys? No. no, you can't do it. These are 16. You have 44 this size too? Yes. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Do you have like bigger shoes for men's? Like for maybe like something like this? Jordan. The Jordan? You don't have like uh, bigger? Oh yeah, those right there, yeah. Look at those. What's the good price? Euro. 25 euro. Okay. <laughs> That's a good price? Good price. Good price is 25 euro? I'm looking to spend like something for like 10 euro. Oh, what is this right here? How much are like something like these? All black. All black? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the all black forces. How much are these two? Same. Two five, two five? Good, Jordan, good. Yeah, I'm gonna try it on. How much is this one? Oh, it's all the same price. Yeah, they fit. <laughs> Size is good. You give better price? 15? 1 5? Oh, uh, I'm looking for uh, 1 5. No. No? <laughs> no, no. No. Do you have anything no. for 1 no. 5? No. Yeah, I don't, a little too much for me, so. Okay, well, thank you. You do 2 0? Yeah? Okay. Uh, that right there. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for him to call me back, but he never did. Good price. Good price. Okay, Very good you. price, yeah. Okay. I think that's a good price. I think that's a fair price. All right, thank you. Bye. Yeah, so this street is like a proper, it's not even a market, it's a street with legit fake stores. Like each one of these are fake stores, but they're not specific to a brand. It's just a bunch of different random brands. It's kind of crazy to see. I think it's like the first time I've seen something like this. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, some cool stuff. How much for like that, like that Montclair vest right there? Yeah. It's finished 25. This one pieces. Yeah. Finished 25, hey? How much for this right here? It's 40 euro. That's a 40 euro. If I buy this and the Montclair, you give me a deal? This and Montclair. Yeah. Like both for 40? This euro. 65 euro, yeah. 40, you give me, 25. You give me a deal? This is good price. That's good price? I'll give you 50. Oh, 50 okay. euro? No. no? Can't do it, hey? You won't do 20 for the Montclair though. 20? Yeah, 20. 25, 23. It's for a friend, so I don't really want to, you know. Okay, thank you. Oh, I like this. Oh, hi. How are you? How are you? I'm pretty good. Just looking for a new coat or something. Do you like this? Yes. How much? 25 euro. 25 euro. Very nice. Yeah, I have 15 to spend. It's for a friend. One five. One five. Yeah. 20. You could do one five. 15? Yeah. 20, no. 20, no? How much for this one right here? 25. 25? Do this? Oh, yeah, okay. That's okay, yeah. How much? 25. 25. How much for this? All 25. All 25. Very good. Do 10? <laughs> this is kind of cool. 1, 5. 15. 15. Yeah. One piece. One piece, yeah. I get <laughs> okay, 20, 20. Okay, we'll do 20, okay. Can I see it? Very nice. Yeah. Okay. No 15. No. <laughs> not my okay, okay. Okay. 20 is okay, yeah. And jacket are good. For you. For me? 20 euro. 15. Break <laughs> those names to my 20 euro. 20 for this and that. Two for 20. <laughs> no bag, no bag. I can just this. This is really nice though. I like this a lot. Look at that. Perfect. Thank Great. You. Thank you. Uh, here you go. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you.
My buddy Bird just came through. He also does YouTube. He's gonna be traveling along with me to these islands and everything. So, are you excited for all these islands and whatnot? I'm excited, and I'm excited to go to the Gypsy Market right now. Let's go and hit up these places and see what it's like. Yeah, I got a few things already, but I feel like we can get a little bit more. It's kind of really sketchy over here because people kind of just like eye you up, up and down these streets. Yeah, we're gonna bargain a little bit more. We're gonna see what else we can get. Otherwise, we're gonna be heading out shortly to the other islands. You ready for this? Let's go. All right, let's go. Uh, how are you? So, you got some shoes. What you got? Yeah, where do you come from? Where do you think we come from? You are from Germany? Germany? No, no. we're not from Germany. Sweden. USA. USA. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice yeah. place. What about you? Where are you from? I am from here. Crete. Okay. You know Crete an Island? Uh, Crete? Yeah, yeah. I am from there. Nice. Uh, we're going to Crete. Henya. Heraklion. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do so, you find now? I have good things. What, what do you got? I have a jacket. I you have, have a jacket. A... Can I look around? Is that cool? Yeah. So what kind of prices do you have for these jackets here? So like it's not a how much is this one? Uh, four seven six five now four euro. Four euro? Forty. Forty euro. Oh okay. I have your size. Oh really? Yeah, you won't. Yeah, okay, I'll try, try it. Try it, yeah. How much you sell these Nikes for? 35. These are 35. You don't? These are, yeah, these are cool. Give you a size? 44, 45. I want to see you haggle for that. I want to see you haggle for that. Okay. <laughs> size? You said 15 for these? No. <laughs> 30. 30. I got 20. No. No, not 20? Okay. This one here. Nice. Yeah, but look at it. it's not a it's just some random brand. They just put the North Face on there. What if we did 15 euro? One five euro for this? How much are you asking for? 40 euro. Oh. 15 euro. Yo, <laughs> oh, <that's amazing> boy. <laughs> I sell you 16 before the Christmas. Now I sell you 40. I used to buy these ten dollars in China. Where does this if come you from? Want to go to China, you bring. We yeah. will for you? <laughs> we'll bring you some. We'll bring you by the bulk. What's the cheapest you yeah. can do on the shoes? 30 is the cheapest. No 25. Okay, 25. 25, yeah. Okay. All right. Can I do 20 for this one possibly? No, no. Oh. 14 the last price. Oh, 40 is the last price. Okay. Yeah, I can. Do I pay you or the boss lady? The boss. Boss lady. I have glasses, very good glasses. Yeah, these are nice. Oh, what kind of glasses? Ray-Ban, how much do you sell those for? You don't speak too much. I'm selling 45, I give you 25. Oof. I'm gonna lose them, they'll break quick. I don't understand what's going <laughs> I'll lose them quick. I put them down, then I walk away. Oh, where did oh, my whoa, sunglasses whoa. go? <laughs> how much are you doing? How much are you doing? Uh, 15. 10 euro, 10 euro. 15, okay. 10? Okay. 10 is okay. Can I see them though first? Yeah, okay. Oh. These oh, are okay. cool. How and do I look? Perfume? Oh, nice. These spray. do look cool. Okay. Very good. I have perfume. I'm not a perfume kind of guy. I have glasses. I uh, have a watch. No watch. Let's see the watch. <laughs> Give me the watch. I bring you now. So we got 35 for you right okay. there. Give me 10 euro me. I bring you the watch. It's in my car. I have a very, very good. You see, one minute. You bring it here? Yeah, no. Wait. Okay. You bring here. Yeah, I'll okay. wait. Let's see what the watch is. Hey, Bert. Come out here. Just in case he brings bring somebody else back. Don't want to get stuck in this shop. All right, I'm going to go super low ball on this because here's the thing. He knows we're here to spend money and he's just trying to like offload a bunch of shit onto us. So I'm going to go super low ball on this one. Hey. <laughs> Too hot inside. We like the cold. Armani. How much you cost? Made in Monaco. 378. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. It's another 370. Different design. You like? Yeah, it's all right. Very, very good. Yeah, that's cool. 370. No, like, I don't sell it like, you, like this. Oh, come on. Yeah, how much? What do you like from here? This one's cool. I like this one. Yeah, okay. Because I don't like to speak so much. I told you, I, I listen to your price. Yeah. And if I like your price, I give you. Okay. If you don't like your price, no problem. Okay. How much you give me? If you ask me how much I give you, I'm going to tell you like 20 euros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How much do you want for it? 100 euros. Oh, no. We can go. How much you give me? Nah, that's good, brother. Okay, man. All can right. I listen to you? One price good for you. 25 euros. No. No. <laughs> I don't think this is the real price. Bro. Like hey, if you like... take two both, how much you give me? 30 for two. No, 25, explain and I don't give. 25. I'll just do 25. Huh? We had the good business, though. Okay. <laughs> one for 25. What do you like? You like this? Oh, we'll do two for 40. 50. 40. 
Bro, who puts this price tag on there? <laughs> like, yeah. this, give for free. Free, 20 euro more. No, not no. You give present. No. Give me 15. 10. Give me. Okay, give me the 40 back. I'll give you 50. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. <laughs> You You're crazy. <laughs> you live in China. Where do you go now? Uh, Crete. Crete. Yeah. My island. Your island. Okay. Cool. I'll see you, man. Thank you very much. Right. Awesome. You ready? Yeah, let's okay. go. All right. See you. See you again. Cheers. Bye bye, man. <laughs> bye bye. You don't want to do uh, this one for 15? No, I can't. No, you can't do it? Okay. This is from Lady. Ah, I it's see. not mine. Ah, okay. 20 last Thank price. No. Nah. Mm. All right. Well, see you. Thank you. All right, so these are cool. These are really nice. They feel like good quality. But look at this shit. The price takes us 378.9 euro. Basically what this number is, is that's the anchor point. When you're anchoring a negotiation, people tend to give a lot of weight to the first number thrown out. So if I'm like, how much for these shoes? And he's like 200, then you kind of tend to lean upwards to 200 if you don't know the real value of the shoe. But if you keep this in mind and understand it, you can break that mold of wanting to instinctually go up to that anchor point. But let's check this out. We got three slightly different from one another watches. But dude, I just can't believe that anchor point was at 378 euros. That's just insane. That guy was hungry for some money. He knew we had money and I'm here to spend money. I'm not trying to hide that I'm trying to spend money. I want people to know that I'm here to spend money. So let's bargain. Anyways, guys, that's it for Athens. Now we're gonna go island hopping all around Greece and see what these islands have to offer. This is gonna be an adventure. I'm excited for this. So let's get to it. Let's go. All right, so I'll just show you what the Airbnb is here in Hanya. We got table or the living room and they have a nice pullout bed. This is like $34 gets you a night. I mean, obviously it's the off season. It might be more expensive during the on season. This isn't a good location at $34 a night. But we got a full kitchen and like a comfy bed and a shower. It's got a washer and it's got a perfect bathroom or whatever. But uh, yeah, so just wanted to show you guys that quick and now let's go head out to the market and see what this place has to offer. All right, now we're out here in this maze of markets. It seems like it's hit or miss. It's either people are open or people are closed. So this should be a little interesting to see uh, see how the, all this works out. So let's do it. Well, you got all the good stuff. Hello, sir. How are you? Ooh, you got nice wallets. How much for that uh, Hermes belt out there? Yeah, how much for this belt? 29 euro. That's a 29 euro. 20 euro in cash. 20 euro in cash. What about this Gucci bag? In this now, the finished this model, 50 euro in cash. That's a 50 euro. Yeah, very good. Yeah. How much are your Gucci wallets? Oh, that's a 73 euro. That's the marked price, hey? And you want 50 for it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, how much is like one of these? That's a 25 you got a mark. 20. I was thinking like 30 for this one might be a little out of my budget. That costs you 40 euros? Where do these come from? From Italy. They come out of Italy. Wow. All right. Maybe one of these side bags. Huh? Like this, 50 euros in cash, both. Like this, like this. For 50 euros in cash. How much? You said this was 25? 45 euros cash. It's okay. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does look like really good quality for sure. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's okay. Thank you. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm one of you. I'm pretty good. I like your leather shop. Thank you very much. <laughs> so these are all the same brand. It's just called Leather Center. Yes. Everything's leather. Yes. The leather we make it by ourselves. Local. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. How much does like a wallet go like? That one is 30 euros. This is like a 30 euro. Mm -hmm. All right. Yourself, Probably just myself. Yeah. Present for, yourself, why present for myself for sure. Uh -huh. I actually kind of like this. It's well, a nice one. I like how it looks like it's rugged. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. This is a 57 euro, eh? 50 euros. 50 euros. I don't think I have that much. But how much do you want to pay? For something like this, 30 to 40. These are handmade too, yes. hey? You made them? Not me. It is a guy's. Oh, okay. Yeah. You just sell them. Yeah. 
Also, if you need something else, I'm gonna make it also 20% discount. You'll make another 20%. Yeah. If you make another 50%, then maybe. <laughs> so much. Yeah. Definitely, it is really quality. And yeah. yeah. This is it legit. Is yeah. yeah. I respect your hard work. Because you know, people, they sell like the fake Gucci ones and it's not really good quality. Just brunt a name. Yeah, yeah. It, See? It is a name. Yeah. See, I like stuff like this, like the real stuff. All right, I'll take you on that offer. I think I want the matching one with the bag. Something like that. Ooh, this is kind of, might be a little too big for me though. Oh no, that's good. So that one's 42, hey? 33 and a half. 78, both of them. How long does it usually take to craft like one bag like that? It is depends the piece, how much work it is. And that's all here, all local. Yes, all local, definitely. Awesome. Well, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a lovely time. All right, you too. So one thing that's new to me is that all these prices are marked on the product already. Instinctually, you want to just be like, all right, it must be that much. So you got to be very diligent and understand how the bargaining works in each country you go to, like China, they anchor super hard. Whereas here, they're given pretty fair prices, it seems like, off the bat, considering their profit margins. Because as you guys just saw, you walk away and they don't even come chase you. And if they don't chase you, most likely, they're not making much profit off of that last price you gave them. And then that's when you got to recoup and decide, is it worth it? for that price that they're giving me for the last if it is then go back and try to haggle even a little more again and if they don't budge at last time then you could just buy it or you could just not buy it versace i'm good how are you what brand is this like blue carbon fiber looking one yeah. And this part is steel, the metal. Yeah. I'm a good designer, you know. So it's like a local. Yes, but they are uh, very good quality. How much do you sell like these Versace ones or like this Rolex one? These here are cheap. Something like this is 20 euros. Okay. This one is more, it's 50. How come this one's 50 and this and one's 20? It's from a different designer, so you oh. know, better leather, That's a the steel. Five zero, you said. Yes. 50. Wow. These are 20, they're a different price. Yeah. Can't do 20 on this one? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the cheapest you can do on this one? 45. 45. Because you know it's also like a Rolex, not try to Oh yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it fits well too. Only um, cash, we can do 40. You can do 30 cash. No. No? <laughs> 40. 40? How much are like these? This is 20. Uh, well, how much do you say? This is a 20, right? This is no, 20? Th these two, the blue, yeah. are 30. Oh, those are 30. Yeah, 35 last price. <laughs> <laughs> Do you can do 40 yeah. and then you throw in one of these too. I do what? <laughs> <laughs> throw in one of these too for the 40. So that and that for 40 then. No. No. <laughs> but I can give you a good price in this one. How much is this? Like 2 euro? No, like 15 euro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll just take the Rolex. Okay. Do you want to wear it or you want to pocket? Yeah, I'll take it. It's okay. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope you will really enjoy it. I hope so. I hope. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> I hope all my friends be like, "Wow, you got a Rolex." <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you. You too. I'm I'm doing good. How are you? All right. Fine. Let's see what you got. I'm trying to do some shopping today. You got any like branded wallets? You don't have any of that. Leather, but I don't have a... Well, you got the Giorgio Armani. Uh, this, uh, These ones? <laughs> yeah, you just print it on, right? How much is this one? Yeah, 10 euros. I'm looking for just spend like 7 euros. You got anything for 7 euros? Leather. Or, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know. Are these all leather? All of these. All these are yeah, leather? Yeah, that's that for information. This is 28. That's a pretty good one. It's a big one too. Big wall. This is a 28. This is 25. Very similar, just they don't have the pocket. How much you say? This was 15 euro? No, but for you, because you uh, have a sense of humor, this one, <laughs> I can make 25. You can make 20. 25. 20 less. 25, yes. 20 is not possible. I like to make all everybody <laughs> happy. Yeah. And these ones are how much? 10 euros. 10 euros. Can't do 20 on that big one. That big one's kind of cool. That's, it's very big success. I know that. Yeah. Everybody asks. 22 for cash. 20, I'll give you 22 for this 25 one. 25 for cash. <laughs> it's a different the price, my good friend. Yeah. Yeah. Many people, they buy for 28 this one. Oh, I believe it. They just come in. They don't even try to get a deal on it. All right. Maybe I'll go look around. Hi. All right. Hello. You make all these, hey? This I have ready. Okay. On the book here. Yeah. You like something else? What about like this Thrasher or like this one right here? 
I look what I have now. How much do you charge to make a Montclair and a Balenciaga shirt? Like this? Yeah, yeah. It's 12 euro. That's a 12 euro. Good price. Are all these the same price or is it like all different prices based upon the brand? This is for 12 euro. If you like something from another, it's 15. If I get four shirts, what kind of deal can you give me? Yeah, this is good price. Can't do like four for 25 euro? Look. It costs to make it, right? This, I have three years. Oh, yeah. This is? Yeah, I want that one, but I don't know if I want to pay that much for one shirt, though. I know, I, I know it's your hard work and everything, so, okay. The books, I can make you eight, eight euro. You can make me eight euro? For the books. Not for these ones right here? Yeah, this I make it better. Look. Oh, it's, it's based on each machine, hey? It's like paper. Yeah, okay. Can you do two for 20? I'll do two for 20. Yeah? Because I have no two. <laughs> it's nothing. Like, like this? Yeah, yeah, this and uh, this one right here. This, I can make you in white. Blue's okay. I'll do blue. Like this here? Not this one. I want, uh, this one is okay? Okay. Ah, uh, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Perfection. I make you another. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I no member. Uh, yeah. Yes, I give you a present. Oh, okay. In the night. <laughs> in the night, you will make it. Okay. All right. Perfect. Got the misprint Montclair. The red part wouldn't go on, so I guess it's a present. This one. Yeah, I was going to say this one. That's okay. Yeah. The Thrasher. Right, how much is the total? 20. One present. I'll split the cost on the present. I'll give you 25. Perfect. I don't want you to lose that. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Yeah, see you. All right, damn, I really want that wallet. It had like all the perfect compartments that I need. I walked away, he just would not not budge. So we're going back, I'm getting it. Although I give away or donate a lot of this stuff, that's something I actually do want. So let's go get it. All right, let's get that wallet. Just cause I really, really want it. Yeah, how much you say? 25, sir. 25? Yeah. You wouldn't take 22. 22 was the other one. Okay, you wouldn't take 23. You wouldn't take 24. Here. Sir, to put in a small bag? Uh, no small bag. I can just carry it. You sure? I, I'm sure. Nice bag. No plug. No okay. Plug. No plug. I'll take it. Yeah, whatever. Appreciate it. What's your name? Constantine. Constantine. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. All right, done, done. Okay. No problem. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Appreciate it. Have yourself. You too. All right. Now we're at the port. You can see there's a lighthouse over here. We have this whole area back here is lined up with restaurants. I'm going to go to the lighthouse. Do you want to go to the lighthouse, fly the drone from the lighthouse? Yeah, okay. okay. All right, now we're out here at this lighthouse. Check this out. So here it is, right here, it's locked. You can sit back there. You can enjoy this awesome view up here. Let's go check down here on this wall right here. We got all these rocks down here too. But now as you can probably tell it's starting to get late and we want to go to a city on the same island two hours from here called Heraklion and the only way to get there is either by bus, car, or ferry. So we're going to try our luck and we're going to see if we can get a deal on a rental car because that's the easiest way to go. But let's go. Let's see if we can get a deal. Hello. Hello. We're looking to rent a car. Today or even tomorrow. Tomorrow we are closed. You can pick up the car tonight for 130 euros. And is it possible to get a way to get, drop it off in Heraklion? No. If you will pay more from about 185 euros, we need 50 euros someone driver to go there. Oh, to okay. okay. It's the same to take a taxi. All right, all right. So there's no. Okay. All right. Thank yep, you thank, you. thank you. All right, she absolutely wasn't going to budge on that. So the deal was that we could get our price. However, we'd have to pay like 180, 185 euros because we want to drop the car off in the next city. So she said the drop off price was that much, which is like insane. So there's like, there was absolutely no budging on that. And I've been searching around even more. This seems to be like the only rental shop in town that was actually open. So here's the thing. When we got to this island first, we wanted to start this adventure here in Henya and then go to Heraklion and then so on and so forth. However, we arrived at the port of Heraklion, which is the capital city. And then we rented a car to come here to Henya and I recorded it. How much is the small automatics? 97 For four days? And that's including insurance. 132? You must pay also 50 euro because you bring back the car to Hanya Airport. Oh, so it's like 182 now. If we could get it all together, including insurance, for what do you think, like 140? No. No. Okay. That's the best price you can do. Hanya cars are cheaper. How much cheaper is that? 108 euro is cost the car plus 50 euro. 158. Can't do that price for automatic? 
about 165. 165 for automatic. It is a fixed price. Oh, uh, okay. We'll probably come back. We're gonna go check one more. Check, check. Okay, we'll take it. We'll do it, yeah. So we still do have a car. I just wanted to return that car tonight, rent a new car for you guys to show you if we could even get a deal. However, now looks like we're stuck with this car because I don't want to take the taxi. I don't want to take the bus tomorrow to go all the way two hours away. So what we got to do is we got to talk about an extension and see what kind of maybe deal we can get on an extension if we could even get one. But it's really weird because her price for it was 185 euros to drop it off in the next city. The price we got at the original car rental place, it was a 40 euro drop off price into this city. So. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go back and see if I can just just drop that down to 50. Uh, you can't do like a 50 50 euro for the drop off. No, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was just wondering because. Yeah, because we rented a car from uh, Heraklion to here, and it was like a 40 euro drop off. So I didn't know if it was different here or whatnot. But all right. Well, thank you. She definitely wasn't having any of that. <laughs> However, it's very interesting that when I brought up that the price to drop off from that city to this city was only 40 euros and her price was 185 euros. She was surprised about that, which is weird. So I wonder what the logistics are about that. So now we're gonna go to the airport and try to get an extension for this car to go to the other city. So let's go. Right, take a right, take a right, take a right. We headed out to the airport to go to the company to see if we could get an extension on the car. However, they didn't seem to be too bothered and they let us know, hey, if you drop it off in the original city, you won't have to pay that drop off fee, which is pretty nice. So that's what we did. We headed out the next morning to our next destination in hopes of finding a deal on accommodation. All right, this hotel looks all right. Kind of looks a little uh, pretty good. Let's go see what it is like and see if we can get a deal or not. One double room, would you like? Yeah, we would like a double room for one night, just one night, yeah. Okay. What would you like, an executive old bungalow, room, executive senior room? What's the prices on those? Okay. And for a room with a CU, cost is going to be uh, 140 euros. Oh, that's a little over our budget. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have any cheaper rooms? Like and this one, not so, sorry. No? Is it possible to get a little discount? Maybe like 65 euros for one night? The lowest, uh, 70 euros totally, I can. And with breakfast? Yes, yeah, so okay. breakfast. Okay. 70 euros. Okay. You want the king size bed, twin beds, what would you like? Uh, two twin beds. Two twin beds, okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay, great. Thank you so much. Oh, great, thank you. Take a seat. All right, so here we are. We got the room. This is a really nice room. I didn't realize from the outside of this hotel, I didn't realize this hotel is really that luxurious. I get a lot of people saying, you only go to the cheap hotels. Well, we were able to bargain this luxury hotel, which is actually really cool. I think she started at 79 euros, and then she tried offering us another room, which was this room for 104 euros, but she gave us the upgrade and a discount. So we got this room, 70 euros. Originally, it's 104 euros. We have the sea view and everything. This is probably like one of the nicer hotels here in Crete. I'm excited to try the traditional Greek breakfast that's going to be downstairs. A quality breakfast at one of these nice kind of four star or five star hotels. Yeah. I'm not sure which star this one is. If we could look it up right now. It's a five star. Oh no shit, really? Yeah, it's legit a five, it's a five star. Whoa. So you are able to bargain on five star hotels. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't imagine the hot season. Yeah. I think like this place was like $2.89. Really? Wow. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, now off to the markets. Hello. How are you? Pretty good. How much do you charge for this Bucks jersey? This is a 21 euro, hey? Can you do a deal if I get two jerseys? Best I can do is 19 and 19. 19 and 19? Can't do like 15, 15? Uh, no, <laughs> no. It's, uh, it's uh, also very expensive for me to buy. Oh. I do not make profit if I sell it. 
Okay. All right. I'll grab these. That Thank makes sense. Much. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Thank you. Excuse me. How much for this bracelet out here? This Cartier bracelet? Yeah, that one. Uh, oh, that's a 29 euro. Looking for like something for like 15. Do you have bracelet for 15? 15? One five euro. One five? Yeah, a bracelet for 15 euro. This is a little out of my budget. Do you have any cheaper bracelets? Not for 29? 25. Can you do 20? <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? Okay. Okay. All right. We'll do it. Okay, that's cool. All right. Yeah. Here Thank you go. You. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, hi. Are you working yes. here? Yeah. You okay, work here? Yeah, yeah. How much for something like this? Oh, that's a th ooh, 39, 35. 35. Yeah. You got anything for like 20? I'm looking 20. for, yeah, like a 20. 20. Oh, this one, but no wheels, eh? Hey? No wheels. Only the wheels are the wheels, expensive one. 28, 25. 28, 20. You can't 25, do, 25. Can't do 25. 25 on this one? Oh, it's 39. 39? Slash uh, price, 30. We'll do 30? 30, I'll do 30. Okay. All right, let's go. Yeah, yeah, 30 is okay. 39, 30. Good price. 39, 30. All right, here you go. Good price. Appreciate it, yeah. All right, thank you. All right, this market was all right. Definitely gonna be a lot better in the summer. I feel like coming back here in the summer to just kind of get like a compare and contrast. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. I feel like the bargaining might be harder too. But yeah, with all that being said, let's go to the next spot that you guys will find out. Let's go. All right, guys, oh, look at the cat. Anyways, we're out here, guys. This is our Airbnb, and uh, yeah, this place is freaking awesome. Look at, I wanna try to get this cat. Anyways, I got a new friend here. <laughs> you good? Oh, shit, all right, my bad. Hey, what about this guy? All right, anyways, let's go check out our new Airbnb, then we'll get the show on the road here. All right, guys, we are now here. We're in our Airbnb. Let me show you it real quick. We have the full kitchen. We got a bed right here. We got a futon right here. We got another bed. And let me show you upstairs. So we got a bathroom with a washer and let's see this. Then we got the bed right here. And also I wanna show you out here. This is really bright. And we got that view. Look at that view out here. And then we could even go up here. This is it all the way up here. This is like a $67 per night Airbnb. So we knew we were coming here and it was the off season. However, the cab driver was like, yeah, why are you guys here? <laughs> So I'm kind of curious as to if there's going to be many markets around here. So now let's head out and uh, let's get going. We're going to go to the car rental place, rent a car. I'm going to try to bargain for it. Try to use the off season as like leverage. And then we're going to explore the island and try to find some markets. But if not, then uh, I guess we'll see whatever happens, happens. So let's go. All right, so because it's the off season and we're on an island, because they're not busy, they're probably not sitting in their office all day. So they all got their telephone numbers. So we're gonna give them a call and we're gonna see what happens, I guess. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good. Good, uh, do you rent cars? No, I'm closed. You're closed. No. How long are you closed for? Like the whole season, I guess? Yes. Oh, okay. Do you know anybody who's open? Yes, hey, where are you now in McDonald's? Yeah, we're in front of the shop. <laughs> we're in front of, uh, okay. yeah. Okay, listen to me, Apollo, the next to my office. Apollo? It's open, yes. Okay, Bye. thank you. All right, so she said Apollo. So she's closed for the season. She said right next to her office is Apollo. I think that's it right there. Yeah, that's it right there. All right, so nobody's here, so we're gonna go give them a call. This is a nice little office though. So let's go find their phone number. All right, there it is right there. We're gonna give them a call. Hello. Hi, do you rent cars? We are closed, sir. Do you know anybody who's open? Everybody's closed. Everybody's <laughs> closed. Okay. Except uh, at, the, at the airport. Except at the airport. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Bye. All right. We're going to the airport. We're walking to the airport. I've never walked to an airport before. You ready to walk to the airport? Let's walk to the airport. You say it's 30 minutes away, yeah, so. Yeah, 35. Yeah, right from right here, 30 minutes. Okay. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's do it. All 
All right, actually, that was a lot closer than I expected. I thought it was gonna be a lot further of a walk, but the airport's literally right here. We're gonna try to bargain. I got some tactics, I guess. I got an idea of maybe how to get this bargain, but if we can't get it at the end of the day, we need a car because we need to explore. Because like I said, there's no taxis. Well, you have to call a taxi and it's kind of a pain in the ass. Whatever, we just want a car, God damn it. <laughs> Let's go. Are you the only rental car company here? What's the prices for them? It depends from uh, the category. We start with uh, 25 euro per day in this category. Okay. Then we have also automatic, 35 euro per day. Okay. And then the 40. What are like these ones down here? You I have only these, nothing. Oh, you have the convertible. How much is the convertible? 80 per day. 80 per day, okay. We should choose one. This one could be fine, it's smart. It's manual. Yeah. Do you want to drive automatic or manual? I like to drive automatic if it's the same okay. price. It's 40. Oh. Smart. How much is for the full insurance? It's extra 10 euro per day. For three days, it will be 150 for smart. This one, including insurance, how much is this one? This will be 35 per day. For three days, it will be 100. Oh, and oh, that's one. with insurance and everything. Yeah, our budget was like around that but one, this though. Is mine, also, we have in this category 135. Oh. Do you have anything for like a, around a hundred, like an automatic around a hundred? Because that's like kind of our budget. With uh, insurance, no. Oh. Only this. But this is minor. Okay. Could you do like 120 for this one? Uh, I can do one moment. Yes, I can do. You can do 120 for this one? Yes. You want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so this one for 120, it's perfect. Okay. Automatic, correct? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, full insurance, full coverage. Yes, in case of a new damage, the maximum that you pay, it's uh, 120. Okay. When you go on site, better for you to take a video around the car and keep oh. the video for oh, the car. Oh, we got okay. videos. <laughs> okay, this clean number. Okay, awesome. Okay, okay. Thank appreciate you so it. Much. All right, so we found it right here. ITA 8724. Here's the keys. All right, so that actually worked out really well. I was actually kind of surprised that we actually even were able to get a discount on that because I don't know, it's like when it's like an actual legit shop, you just kind of. It's iffy, but we got the car. We got a good deal. This car's all right. It's this decent. car is great. I just love the fact that I don't have to do the stick shift all the time. Yeah, that was part of the deal too. Like the manuals are more cheaper. <laughs> yeah, uh, now I got an idea. I want to kind of go around this island, explore. I want to take you guys along with me and see what kind of deals we can get on like random stuff. Let's go do this and uh, you ready to explore, Bert? Yeah. Let's do this damn thing. <laughs> All right, so right now we're turning around. We just went to this dead end. But yeah, this countryside, man. It's so cool out here because it's so like desolate. You can just see all these land plots. All the houses are white, by the way. Contrast so well on the greens and the browns of the countryside. So they stick out, it's really cool. So what do you gotta say? How do you like driving here? All right, let's keep going. Oh shit, <laughs> look at this. Look at this guy. What's up, dude? How you doing, bro? Bro, this car is baller. I like this thing. Should we just like go off-roading in this? The insurance for this thing, any damage, it's 100 euros covered, everything. Even totaled? Even if we total this thing, I'm thinking about going off-road. <laughs> All right, so right up here is a dam we're going over. So check it. Hello. How are you? <laughs> All right, here we go. You just floored over. No, you got a motorbike behind you. Should I have him pass us? You can pass us if you want. <laughs> you want it? You want a selfie? <laughs> See you. That was awesome. <laughs> All right, so check this out. We found this place called Raceland and surprisingly they're open because it's like completely dead out here. We're gonna go up there and we're gonna have a little, we're gonna have a little race. We're gonna have a little, a little duel. So Bert, how you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. Yeah? We're gonna have a good little race and we're gonna probably get a good price considering it's the off season. They're not expecting so many tourists. So we might just get a really great rate. Yeah. Or maybe an extra lap. Maybe a couple laps or something. So how much Oh. These are different price? This one's faster. 
Yeah, we want the fast right. ones. How much is it for the faster one? 20 euro. How much for the slower one? 15. How many laps is it, by the way? 15 laps. 10 minutes? 13 laps? 13 laps? For one race, it's 13 laps. Actually, in America, it's cheaper. It's pretty cheap, yeah. I don't know which car. This new model. About two races. Two races. So, like, two races? Two or three minutes more. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. Like, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to like press it too hard. We're happy with that. That's good. So we get an extra couple of minutes. So that yeah. Means... Hey, if you want another, I give you three more. Oh, three more minutes. Three okay. Three more so I'll take like, that. I, I only I don't take the cash. Only cash. We got cash. It's okay. Oh, yeah, I only tell you. Yeah. Now it's closed. All right. So I have a wager for us. Okay. Whoever loses has to go into the ocean since it's so cold. Mediterranean Sea, take a two minute swim and swim around. Yeah, okay. You ready? It's kind of cold out, I don't know. Okay, we'll try. <laughs> okay, we're good. Thank you. Woo! All right, so we have like 13 laps, right? Yeah. So do you want to do uh, best out of three, four laps? Yeah. So just remember to count your laps. <laughs> All right, are you feeling confident? I'm feeling like it's cold. It's about ocean. <laughs> On your marks, get set, go! I'm gonna let him get a lead and then I'm gonna take him on the inside. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Oh, shit, I gotta watch out for this. There we go. Woo! I like this corner. Did he wipe out or something? Okay, I gotta keep my eye on him. Don't look back at him. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Yeah. All right, we can go in now. Thank you. I have more faster than this. Yeah, it's great. I have more faster. You have more faster. How fast does this go? 75, 90. This has more acceleration, more final speed. Wow. He's got the GTR. Bert, yeah. who's swimming? I think I'm swimming, but... <laughs> Yeah. I might jump in. You tell me how it is. I might jump in. Here, thank you. You can keep it. 100. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. So, first off, I want to say before we talk about how you're going to go swimming, that's a super awesome advantage coming here in off season is you get this track completely to yourself. And he was telling us, like, straight up, like, you could just come here and just do whatever you want. He wanted us to come back tonight with the lights on. I'm like, damn, if we weren't crunched for time because they're trying to go to another island tomorrow, I would definitely do it. But, what do you got to say? I'm going to go <laughs> swimming tonight. Not really so cold. It's going to be around I think 60, you're just lying to yourself. Degrees, I think you're trying to convince yourself. It's going to be cold. <laughs> it's going to be fun. So guys, uh, I lost the bet. So now it's my turn to go into the water. Just trying to get a little bit warm before I go in this really cold water. I mean, it's not as cold as like Scandinavia, but it is really cold. We going? Gotta go. Let's go. You got to just run in. You can't, you can't test the water. Just run in. No, you got to run in. Okay. <laughs> All right, you're about at a minute 30. All right, maybe like 10 seconds. All right, you're good, you're good. It feels good? You've been in for like maybe five to seven minutes. Oh, wow. No, I'm going to go in for one more time. Oh, Jesus. 
All right, guys, today's travel day. We're going to the next island. However, before we do that, we have to return this rental car. And I hope this part doesn't make the video because if this part makes the video, that means there's some drama about to ensue, meaning they're gonna find something wrong with the car or nickel and dime us to death. They made us take a video around the car to find all like the dents and whatnot, which is good. However, I hope we haven't missed anything or anything because we didn't do anything to the car. We yeah, didn't hit anything. Nothing happened <laughs> yeah. except just we drove on some dirt roads and we didn't drive fast. Yeah. I'm a very careful driver. <laughs> now it sounds like we're guilty. No, yeah, but we just cleaned off the car because out here in Europe, Bert says that they tend to try to catch you on that stuff. Because they double their profit if they can just get a little yeah. dent. Yeah, so we got the $100 insurance, meaning if they find something, we have to pay 100 euros. But we only paid like 120 euros to get the car to begin with. So yeah, they essentially double their profits. So if this part makes a video, some drama is about to ensue. So let's go. Hello. How are you? Good. And there is a little spot here in the that? down part, yes. <sighs> Let's see. see. There is a next success for this. Okay. That little and it's uh fifty euro. Oh Jesus. Yes, plus the tax. That's close. Yeah. Uh, Literally every time you could do this, you could just pick up new one. There's always going to be a new one, especially down there. That's annoying. I didn't shoot it on my camera. I got it. It's not there. It's a new one for sure. And the nothing is. Everything is okay. And, uh, <laughs> Do you think we can just get a little bit of a discount, like 30 euro total for it? It's 50 plus taxes. I can do 50 with taxes, okay? Can we do 40 with taxes? Oh, uh, it's impossible. impossible. Because uh, here taxes, it's uh, 24 uh, percent. So it's a little bit pricey of a car. I don't even know what to say. Does everybody get a scratch? Um, a lot right of now, no, but uh, you know, there's many stones here in Pekonos. When you park, you have to be careful because there's the stones all down. Yeah, that's life, hey? To be fair, I know exactly where that happened. By that Great Wall of China yeah. looking place. Yeah, God damn it. I can do total 50. You want to pay cash just in case? Just in case, you know. Yeah, over got the cash, it's better. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a nice day. We're good. All right, you thank too. you. See you. She was right. But that was a pretty decent scratch, to be honest. But it's just like it's like it's a it's a losing battle, you know. That's funny that you were able to bargain down the damages. If you're on a regular road the whole time you're here in Mykonos, there's a lot of dirt roads. If you're on a regular road, probably quite easy not to scratch the car. However, like I said, we went on the dirt road and on the undercarriage, it was a. To be fair, there was a legit scratch, but I mean, come on, it's under the car. Not every rental car agency in the United States would actually get someone in trouble for this one. But here in Europe, they're very particular. Every little nook and cranny they look at, they tell you, go film the car, make sure it's all good, because they probably are not gonna fix that little scratch on the bottom of the no, car. No, absolutely not. Because that's just like, an, it's just an easy way to double your profit. And uh, if you do get in that situation, you can bargain the, the damages, <laughs> which I thought was funny. Anyways, enough of all this. Let's go to the next island. Uh, we need to go to Sir Sirius. Okay. Today, right? Yeah, for today. How much is it? Okay, uh, what time does the ferry leave? 2.15 now, sir. 2.15 now, okay. All right, so we're on our way to Syros. The tickets are 13 euros, which is actually not bad because we get to ride this bad boy right here. And it's an hour, 15 minutes from Mykonos to Syros. So let's just hop on and let's go. You the ticket man? Syros, yeah. All right, guys, now we're on the ferry and we're going to this island called Syros because we want to go to Santorini. However, there's not a direct ferry from Mykonos to Santorini, so we have to hop at Syros. Then we have to stay over at night because there's not another ferry until the next morning. So we're only going to be here at night. However, if it's worth it, we might stay one more day. So let's just check this out. I've never heard of this island before and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, we just arrived here. It looks actually, I think it looks better than Mykonos, to be honest. Like the architecture and everything. <laughs> How do you feel about this? Yeah, this is a great island, you guys. This is like what I dreamed of for 
Greece. First things first, we actually got to find somewhere to stay. We didn't book anything. I just forgot we didn't book anything. You don't need to book ahead for most places. You just go if you want to. All right, yeah, so we found the place and we're gonna go roll up and bargain with it because what happens is if you book on the app, the booking app takes a fee, obviously, like booking, I'm not, no sponsor, I'm not naming the app, but yeah, they take a fee and then we can go up in there and bargain. This is the map you use. So you find the name of the hotel and then you actually go there. Yeah, okay, so let's go. All right, so it is right up here, six minutes walking distance. I'm not necessarily sure if this is like a hotel, a hostel, or somebody just had like their room for rent on the website. Does it look like there's like a receptionist? Yeah, there's a sign up there. So the price was what? How much on there? 40 euros. 40 euros. So we're going to try to get a discount on that. So yeah, it's right here. Here's the sign. I don't know what that says. Something rooms. So let's go in there and check it out. All right, nobody's in there. So we're going to call them right here. All right, so do you own this place? Do I have to call uh, for here? Okay. Sorry, I don't understand. Telefono, okay. So I gotta call them, yeah, okay. Uh, got a knife. <laughs> Shank me. <laughs> okay. Telefono, right here. Ooh, thank you. Kind of unsurprisingly, nobody's here, so. We're gonna call them and see what the deal is. Dude, this lady's very helpful. If there's one thing about Greece, the people here are extremely helpful and extremely friendly. I don't wanna say that's a surprise, but like, I mean, traveling, you don't really think of that kind of stuff. So it's like, you don't really have expectations anyways. You don't go to this country thinking like, oh, they're gonna be very rude or, oh, they're gonna be very friendly. It's just like, you experience it. It's like, oh, it's very awesome. Yes, This girl is fucking cool. <laughs> Hello, hi. I could do it. Hello. Oh, no speak English. Okay, bye bye. We want to rent a room. We want to rent room. She said no speak English. I'm it's gonna be too difficult. She sounded like she didn't really care to help yeah. us. Um Thank you, thank next you. Next spot, thank you. Yeah, we good. Can we go next? How do you say thank you? I forgot. Alright, so what we're doing right now is we're finding another spot. It's nine point one rating and it's right over here. It's four minutes away. Okay. Walking. We found it on but we can't find their phone number. We're gonna contact them directly. So I'm gonna use Street View on Google. So this is 76 euros a night on the inside. Hello. Hello. Do you have a room for available? Yes, I have. Two beds, please. One bed and a sofa bed. Uh, uh, one bed and one sofa bed. Uh, Two people. Two people, okay. Yeah. Yes, uh, where are you now? We are uh, like four minutes away. Four minutes away, okay, me too. Do you want to meet you outside of the, of the, yeah, we can. Of the building? Yeah, we can. Yeah, I'll okay. meet you there. Okay. So, see you there in five minutes. All right, see you. Perfect, bye. Bye. Perfect. So, it's literally right around the corner. We're gonna go meet her up, and uh, we're gonna go see what this, what happens. So, let's go. Hello. Hi, we just talked to you, right? Okay, how are you? <laughs> Pretty good. We just got here right now, so okay. we just came from Mykonos. We are in the se ah, okay. Yeah. We are in the second floor. Okay. Uh, how much is it per night? Because we want to stay tonight and tomorrow night. Okay, it's 40 euros like that, 35 by cash. 35 by cash? Is it possible to do maybe like 30? 30 euros by cash. 60 euros total. I know that my, my prices are very good. Okay. So this, uh, 35. Okay, let's do it. We'll do it, yeah. Okay. okay. Ooh, this is it. Oh, great. This is the spot. If you need anything, just call me. Okay. So All right. you stay today and tomorrow. Yeah, we yeah, we leave the day after. Okay. So maybe if we like Ciros, we'll stay more, but probably not. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I think this is nice for 35 a night actually. Yeah, this place is this place is pretty cool. So what do you say? Let's uh, get set up and uh yeah. let's go find some food, find some beer. So all right, let's go. All right, so we got up into the hotel room last night. We passed out right away. We're gonna go see what we can get into. It's like nine in the morning here. Got some good ass rest. So I think first things first is because like in the other island that we were just at, there's not much information online about ferries to get to the other island in Santorini. And the lady in the previous island said there's a boat that goes today to the other island. So we just gotta make sure that there's other boats on other days. We're gonna get our tickets first and then uh, we'll continue out with the stay. Hello. Hi, I have a question. So I know there's a boat that leaves to Santorini today. Yes. Is there one that like leaves tomorrow or? No, no, there is no boat that we take. Okay, when's the... Okay, and then we're going to Saturday. 
Saturday. Ooh. So there's only one boat that goes. We already booked our hotel room for two days now. So what should we do? So just t today and Saturday. Oh yeah, I don't want to stay here that long. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a bit long, honestly. So maybe we have to leave today. And it leaves at 11. He said, um, "It's already 10." Wow. All right, so we need to get our money back. How much is the boat? 1780. All right, uh, let's go out here. Let's go. Out. We're gonna walk around and see. Yeah. All right. So it looks like we have to leave today, which is kind of. We were originally staying one night, but we wanted to stay two once we saw this place because it's awesome. But I don't want to stay four nights. Like I'd be down for two days. Otherwise, we got to get our money back and everything. So. All right. Yeah. Let's just see what <laughs> this place. We're outside another place right here. So let's see what they got. You wonder if you're on the boat going to Century like tomorrow or Thursday or any day possible. No, it's only one day and then the next one is on uh, Saturday. Saturday. How much is that boat, by the way? 1780. 1780. Okay, there's one more. 1780. Okay, okay now we're just gonna. All right, the second one said the same thing. There's only one boat, so I'm assuming there's one more agency here. I'm pretty sure it's just one boat total. It doesn't matter what agency you go to, but we're just gonna see what the price is. Maybe it's different. So it's 1780, 1780. Might as well just check yeah. to see maybe if this is cheaper. Hello. How much is your Santorini boat today? Oh, 17. Oh, they're all the same. Well, I guess we'll just get it here then. Okay, can we get two tickets, please? So our host at the hotel said she'll give us some money back. So we're gonna go receive that, pack up our stuff. We didn't even unpack, really. We're all good? Yes, thank you. All right, thank perfect. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. All right, so now we got a few minutes, I guess, to go check this place out. But our new Airbnb host in the other island, because we booked an Airbnb there already, and this place looks nice. It's a cave home. So I'm excited to see how this place is. She said she'll pick us up at the port, so we're already set for like transferring and everything. So it's kind of easy, but we can get picked up right here. So we don't really even have to hurry at all, even though it is 10, 15, ferry leaves at 11. Our stuff is already packed and our hotel's right here. So we got a little bit of time. I just want to show you guys the shorefront here. And <laughs> that's all we got time for so let's go hello hi thank you pretty good yeah okay so our airbnb host set us up with the rental car so it's already here pretty straightforward yeah this is cool. Everything out here is already set up for you. Unlike Mykonos, they got like cars, tours, whatever, shuttles, transfers, all that. You live over there then too? Yeah. Yeah? I live in Norway. Oh, nice. All right, got our car going up to the Airbnb and uh, let's see what this place is all about. What's the best island, Mykonos or Santorini? Here. Here? Yeah. Okay. We're going to see what this is about. All right, awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here at our Airbnb. This is what, $57, I think it was, gets you per night here in Santorini. During the off season, what I heard is the prices during the on season are double, if not triple in some places. Keep that in mind, but uh, here's this place. So as you can see, it's a cave. We have the table, we have the kitchen, we have the indented floor with the living room. There's the bedroom. They got this cool little like thing, <laughs> like you can see into the cave, I guess. And also here is the bathroom. Just a regular, regular old bathroom. When we booked the cave, I wasn't really sure how clean it would be. It's like pretty coated. Like I thought maybe the, the walls and the floor would be more rough, but no, it's, you can see they painted it really well all around and it's really, really roomy. They left this spot undone. I don't know why, but it's kind of a cool little feature. All right, now we're gonna explore Santorini, see what the hype is about and see what this island has to offer. Let's go. All right, now we're going up to this place called the Venetian Castle, as you can see right here. It looks like there's a couple castles on this island, but this might be the most famous one. No, I'm just joking. We literally just came to the first one we could find. So let's go up here. All 
All right, now we're walking up into this castle here and thought it'd be more touristy, like more set up. We had to pay like a ticket or something, but it's literally just a castle that you could just walk up into. So we got this over here. We can go up over here. But let's go down this way first. Nice, check that out, look at that view. There's the top. I wanna climb this. <laughs> Deep hole right there. All right, we're climbing this. King of the castle up here. I know, let's just walk this way and go around the castle, see what's up. That's cool. Dude, this whole place is cool. There's nobody up here except for us. It's not even like touristy at all. It's just like some ruins that you can just wander up into, which is a lot better than like, you know, having guardrails and stuff. <laughs> okay. All right, what's down here? Check this. So some more ruins. Got the town view. Look at this. Straight down. This is such a nice view. Now I understand why there's a castle up here. If you want to do some urban exploration, definitely come up here. I haven't even seen anybody up here, so it's like just freely come up and do as you please. All right, you're gonna fly the drone? Yeah, I'm gonna try to get up there, see what's up there. So yeah, let's go. That's actually someone's house, I think. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, so it looks like maybe somebody lives up here. That'd be crazy. Yeah, so we got this town over here. Easily could fall down here. Yeah, this is cool. Do you work here or live here? You live here? In this castle? You live in the castle? Oh, that's so cool. Are we free to walk around up here? Okay, awesome. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you. We just think it's so cool. How long have you lived in the castle? Okay. How does one live in the castle? Oh, he inherited. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, I love this place. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, so that was really cool. Dude, I met a girl. She was sitting there with her cat and her dog. She lives in this castle. Yeah, she said she lives here. And I was like, well, she's like, I was like, how long do you live here? And she's like, well, I just moved in because my boyfriend, but I was like, how does your boyfriend live here? So he inherited the castle that I assume has been inherited through many generations. That's so cool. So they just kind of like chill up here all the time. That's sick. So that's that for this castle. I highly recommend coming up here. Anyways, what do you say? Let's go to somewhere else. Yeah, let's go. Let's All go right. to the Red Sand Beach. Yeah, Red Sand Beach. And there's a Black Sand Beach here too as well. So let's get this drone down and let's head out to those beaches. Here it is, oh my God. That looks so sick. All right, let's go. Warning, this is kind of dangerous. No hands. All right. <laughs> Running this bitch. Nice, oh shit. <laughs> nice, damn, look at this. It's like a shipwreck over here. There we go. Damn, this is sweet. This is incredible. For real, this is, wow. I got so many rocks in my shoes. All right, yeah, we're down here, Red Beach chilling. We came at the perfect time. We got all these like volcanic rocks. I forgot what these are called, but they're really light. I don't know if they're even volcanic, but <laughs> this is so cool. I would definitely come down here to spend a day. Should've came earlier. It's kind of rocky, but it's fine. Over there, there's also another beach that looks to not be as rocky and it's longer. I just think this part right here, this like little hidden oasis is probably the coolest part. Oh, you got down without slipping. I slipped twice. No, no, no. This is the red sand. Now we have to make our trek back up this little hill. You gotta go up and around. Oh, look, there's somebody up there. What do you say, go find somewhere else now? Yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna take you guys up and around here. It's kind of dangerous, but uh, definitely recommend it. That's the thing, it's like, if it's a little dangerous, then it's worth going, I swear. Always is. If it's too easy for you to access, it's not worth going. So let's go. All right, guys, now we're out here in a place called Oya. It's in the northern part of Santorini. And as you can see, it's got that iconic cliffside white town, I guess you could call it, where these are all hotels, hostels. It's completely dead, as you can see. Look at this, all these pools right here, just not maintained at all because, well, 
why do you need to maintain them right now, right? It's just absolutely dead over here, but it's nice, it's cool. You wanna go kind of explore this little spot? We're gonna go down here. It's weird because like, I feel like during like the busy season, this would be like kind of blocked off. Like we wouldn't be able to access it unless we were booking this hotel or something. But we can like literally just urban explore all of this down here. Yeah, oh shit, we gotta, we can just camp out here. We can go swimming. There's fish in here. I think those are actually mosquitoes. Oh, it's like there's fish in the pool and nobody's here. It's like a proper ghost town. Yeah, it's just a nice little room here. Huh. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So if you're an urban explorer, I would say come out here during the off season and uh, check it out. This is like when I was filming those ghost town videos in China. This is a proper ghost town now. This pool's all right. Oh, this is a proper restaurant. Look, oh, they got wine bottles still here. Bro, they just left this stuff here. It's like an apocalyptic event or something. There's still wine in there. Oh, look at this. <laughs> so we have this spot right here. That looks super cool. Over here, they might have one as well. Oh, this one's sick. So we have the jacuzzi. We have the little, cool little cave feature. That's what the inside looks like right here. Probably my favorite one I saw so far. So yeah, instead of looking at pictures, you can just come in here and during the off season, you're planning a honeymoon, whatever. You can come here and plan it and then pick out the perfect spot during the off season to come back during the on season. Or I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about honeymoons. I'm just excited how crazy this is. If you're an urban explorer, it's a cool little spot to urban explore. I miss urban exploring the ghost towns in China, but this itself is kind of like a ghost town too as well. All right guys, that's it for the video. We're out here on the helicopter deck of this ferry. We are back here in Athens and I just wanna say thank you guys for taking the time to watch this whole video. If you have gotten through this whole video, if you're here, you probably hopefully have gotten through this whole video. I got the Greece and I was only planning on doing an Athens market spree, but then I got here, I'm like, man, like I'm in Greece. You can't just go to Athens and not show everything. So I got this very ambitious idea to hit up multiple cities. I think we hit up like four or five cities in this whole video. It's probably been the most ambitious project I've done it just feels so good to be traveling again it feels different this time around anyways i think i'm getting kicked off this helipad so uh don't forget to like share comment subscribe follow the other socials instagram tiktok facebook everything else and uh we'll see you guys next time later